Well, you admitted to your husband that you had slept with your ex in your house. Yeah. And you don't have no shame in it, huh? But I slept with him after his ex called me telling me that they were having an affair, too. When was the last time you two were intimate? It's been a while. Last night? No, Your Honor, we were at separate hotels. Separate... No, Your Honor, that's and, not true. And you made your way to my hotel. That is not true, right. Your Honor. I thought it was our understanding that you believe Mr. Taylor was the father. Your Honor, I, I don't know which one is the father, but okay. I had sex with both that's of them. That, 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 thank you. That's Show what... Up. That's it. Living a lie, quenching for peace, the man had enough of his spouse's cheating. He arrived in the court with evidence of unmasking his slattern wife. So now he wanted DNA to end this paternity drama once and for all. Let's hear how he has been holding up. Mr. Broussard, you opened your case hoping the court will grant you a paternity test so you can prove you are not the father of four-month-old baby Charles. You say your one-year marriage to the defendant is on the verge of collapse because of paternity doubt and you need this test. As you can see, mommy's infidelity had brought them on the verge of falling apart. He claimed that his concrete evidence made him doubt the paternity, yet he signed the birth certificate. But once it is proven he was not the father, then it would be over for good. I say my marriage is on the verge of collapse due to the infidelity, the trust issues, and all the evidence coincidence that I discovered. And you need this test today because you you're on the birth certificate. Yes, I am. You are this child's legal father. Yes. Okay, you heard the defendant. Their relationship went to the wishy-washy road real quick when their neighbors blurted out that Mr. Broussard was not the father of the baby. She claimed that her spouse was obsessed with her ex and was just making things up. He is so obsessed with my ex that he feels that I'm cheating on him every time I do something. Um, we argue, we fight all the time. Me and him just are not getting along at all. How long has it been this way? Since the end of last year. There has been rumors going around in the neighborhood that we grew up that he is not the father of our child. However, the man believed the rumors because they all came up with some evidence. So to support his claims, he brought an exhibit. But the bummer was with every assertion, baby mama was getting trapped in her lies like this. Reason why that gave me my doubt that little Charles is not mine, there was uh, two glasses on my table. I just got off work and basically I walked in, the cups look freshly poured. You still can see the water dripping off of it because it's going to room temperature. So I asked like, why is there another cup here? She basically said, I don't know. I said, well, you had in my house then. Oh no, it was just compulsive lying. Now she could not even blame the daddy for his doubts, but this was not over yet. The further unmasking the lies game got more strong as baby daddy revealed the mommy's lies like this. The rumors. I am well known in my community and I felt kind of disrespected when a child came to me and said the ex-boyfriend had told me that him and your wife are still communicating. They want to have a family, a baby together. They about to push you out the picture. Even though her cheating was not hidden anymore yet, she continued sleeping around with her ex. As the defendant saw handprints of another man all over her body and she admitted that it was revenge sex. Oh my! I was away. And once I returned home, uh, I seen Helen in the shower and she had like handprints on her thighs, her, her buttocks and not just Handprints, like you could see handprints. Like he was slapping her lower half. So basically uh, she stepped out the shower. She told me like, I slept with him. Oof. This woman got some nerve. Instead of being ashamed of her wrongdoings and lies, she was defending herself. Anyways, Judge Lake heard enough of their testimony, so she determined that DNA was vehement in this paternity conflict, so let's get those results and see if they ended up on good terms or not. Mr. Broussard, you are the father. How does it feel to hear that? I feel a lot more better about the, um, the results. I still got love for him. As far as me and Helen go, you know, we about to work on our marriage and our differences. Pretty happy that um, this is my biological son. This case was outright palooza, as Mr. Hammond claimed that his debauched spouse had imperiled their marriage with compulsive lies. He claimed that baby mama was busy with another when she conceived the baby. Mrs. Hammond, you claim that after 10 years of marriage and repeated attempts to get pregnant, a month ago, you finally gave birth to your miracle baby, Isaac. You need today's results to prove to the defendant, your husband, that this is his baby. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. 
Honor. Initially, the defendant shed light on the habitual lying part. He claimed that his spouse had numerous guys in her life. She had a habit of manipulating people. Even she had made him a fool in their whole marriage of 11 years. But now it's time to show that's enough. I had multiple partners. She, she lies to my face constantly. So, so um, how am I supposed to believe someone who, who's telling me it's night and it's daytime? You know what I mean? So you say she lies to you all, all the time? All the time. All the time. She, she, she had me in a snowsuit in the middle of summer. So I, I want to understand this. I mean, you've been together 11 years. It turned out that Mrs. Hammond's promiscuity was at the peak that even her lovers gave the red flag to the defendant and dropped him a video of them banging his wife. But mommy tried to wipe it like this. Numerous people that um, have told me they've been with my wife. What did they tell you? What happened? I've, I've seen a video of my wife giving oral to, to another man. That is such a lie. There is no video, Your Honor. There is no video. But was there a man and was there oral sex? In, in all honesty, um, there has been cheating on both sides. My husband cheated on me first. I took it the wrong way. So to prove his claims, the potential daddy brought evidence, which alleged that Mr. Hammond caught his wife texting another, which raged him, and he ended up posting something on Facebook. Ooh! That should not be posted on social media. Conversations with my wife and another man that, that, that should not be spoken. And, um, oh, oh. She's in the same place as the, these man is, you know what I mean? And, um, and you posted these to your social media. Correct. You said, how does your wife of 11 years text people she's cheated on her husband with messages like this? However, the plaintiff was consistently lying. She contended that there was nothing true in those text messages because it was one of her friends. But this time, Jude Lake jumped, cut her chase off, and did not let her nincompoop her like this. I mean, I know what I have and what I haven't done. You saw this man. Um, yes, I did. I met him at our local county park, um, said hello to him. It was a friend that we had both worked with, and it was nothing more than that. It was somebody that was probably trying to get at me, but nothing I was going to involve myself with. Now, hold on, Ms. Hammond. Listen, don't waste my time. This is not an exchange between a co-worker and you. Moreover, it was slipped that the woman had numerous other people in this paternity run, as she had been moving around with a single status. That even claiming to be married shocked Mr. Hammond. You believe that this person could be Isaac's biological Correct. father? Yes, ma'am, and uh, numerous others. I mean, there's she's moved so single, I, I don't understand how she claims to be a married woman. So can you take me to the point when Isaac is born? Were you at the birth? I was. One after another, mommy's lies were being caught. So Judge Lauren jumped into the birthday party. It was disclosed that the man did not help her even when she was about to give birth. He abandoned her and went to the casino with another woman. Um, he showed up to where I was living. He, um, I said, okay, are you gonna bring me to the hospital? He said, no, drive yourself. He left, he left me at my house. He left and went to the casino with another woman. Mind you, after my water broke, I had to drive myself to the hospital. He he didn't show back up to the hospital until 20 minutes before I gave birth. But the husband denied the claims and stated there were no other women with him because he went to gamble only. Uff. This weird part triggered Judge Lake, so she reacted like this. But why were you at the casino gambling if your wife's giving birth That's a good to question. the baby you right. prayed for? Right. I, I can't I can't have an answer for that one because I don't know. What kind of craziness is this? Right. Now that's one we've never heard, Jerome. I haven't heard that one. My water broke. Great, I'll be at the casino. Right. Apparently, mommy was trollop, and her unfaithfulness had made things go south. Still, the potential dad claimed that his spouse cheated on him with multiple men, even if it could be 13, 16, or more, because mama lied and swindled a lot. Mrs. Hammond, how many times have you cheated? I've been with three other people. I, I know at least six that, that, that she's been with, so, so there's no reason to fake he the phone. He believes that's so many I believe people. you've been with more than six. I believe you've been with 13. But then again, he... 16. <laughs> Why are you saying these numbers? Be because um, she would tell me anything. Even though Miss Hammond's cheating had left her marriage at a vulnerable point, the only way to determine the truth about the baby was to uncover the secret DNA envelope was holding. So let's get those results. Mr. Hammond, you are the father. <laughs> God answers prayers. Yes, ma'am. Full word. speed. I'll give you my word. I know you've been on the slow speed because you didn't know if it was your child. You've been crawling. What would you do if you see a girl wearing tight pants? Would you slide into her bed by selling dreams of wedding bells as the man did in this case? Mr. Wiggins rolled up in the court seeking Judge Lake's help to get back his family. Let's hear what brought him into this mess. Mr. Wiggins, you are here in court to prove that you are not the father of Miss Davis's child, Aubrey Wiggins, and say today's results will change your life. Is that correct? 
correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Davis, you claim that Mr. Wiggins knows he's the father of your child and is trying to deny her because he already has three children and doesn't want to step up and be a father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Wow. A brief separation gave him the pass of sleeping with another woman. It turned out that in no time he was up to jiggery pokery with Miss Davis. Yet he wanted to free himself from accusations of being a father to a baby girl because his family was at stake. We was never together. Almost two and a half years? Yes, sir. Yeah, I yeah. was married, Your Honor. I mean, yeah, married, we, but it just, you know, it kind of went longer than it should have. But your hope is that if you can prove that Aubrey is not your biological child, that you can convince your ex-wife, the woman, I guess she left because of the situation? Yes, ma'am. Further, the defendant claimed that they were in a committed relationship for two years, and the man admitted to manipulating and lying to this young lady for his gain, yet blaming her was the reason he lost track of his family. Oh my, what type of man is he? I was, I knew I was in a relationship. You did. Two and a half we years were not, we was together. No. I was telling her what I felt I needed to tell her to ultimately get what I wanted. Obviously, Me you might have gotten more than you bargained right. for, right? He did. He did. A child. And so why did you think you were in a relationship, Ms. Davis? He stated that multiple times. Did you times. was he telling you there was gonna be a future? Yes. The next Judge Lake hopped into the pregnancy. It slipped out that Mr. Wiggins' mistress wanted his wife out of his life because she expected to have her whole life with him. So put on his deception hat and duped baby mama like this. And then I actually her to let me tell my wife and of course because she wanted my wife out of the picture because she did want more you're right i wanted more because you that's what you presented and i was good to her i mean because ultimately i was trying to get something out of her so i did what i had to do i felt i needed to do like two and a half years how we're not together however he asserted that miss davis approached his wife on facebook and disrupted his married life oh man are you out of your mind i mean he has no control over his desires and yet inoculated the defendant for the havoc that just makes no sense miss davis told her that she was pregnant and that she wasn't going anywhere. She inboxed her on Facebook, right. which caused a lot of havoc in my life. I was opposed you to wasn't, let, allow you wasn't to gonna be a man. Uh, to... Did it cause the havoc or did you cause the havoc? He did, cause right. Okay, so the next chronicles of Wiggins started. He claimed that the mommy had been busy with another man at the time she conceived the baby because he sent some text messages on her phone. So that's why he was denying paternity. We got into a bit of an altercation. I don't remember the exact details. And my family member seen her be picked up by another guy. That was my cousin. That I she claims to be her cousin. However, it's a coincidence that while we were at the hotel, she happened to be taking a shower and I think I was using her tablet for something. Um, maybe mom. scrolling on Facebook. To prove his sham show right, the alleged father brought an exhibit to the court. He alleged that Miss Davis had fabricated his name on the birth certificate. But how she forged his name was quite interesting. Dude. But the baby's mom caught wiped off all his lies like this. No Einstein or anything, but I'm, I'm educated enough to know my own birth date. This is the birth certificate. Apparently she knew my name. This is the birth, the birth date that's listed on Aubrey's birth certificate. My birthday is November the 9th, 1990. The one this you wrote. This says 11, 11, 1990. I didn't wrote. write anything. And also in the state of Florida, because I was married, I wasn't just supposed to go on her birth certificate. Till now it was apparent Mr. Wiggin was a compulsive liar who was putting on sham allegations about baby mama and he was clowning just to defend himself. Further, it came out that they were still sleeping together Together and it ticked Judge Lake, so she articulated the reality like this. Before I get to these results, are you all still involved? No, yes. we're not, Your Honor. No, we're not, Your at Honor. The same, at the same time, <laughs> two different answers. Right. Exact same time. When was the last time you two were intimate? It's been a while. Last night? No, Your Honor, we were at separate hotels. Yeah. Judge Lake was right. He was playing on both sides of the fence, yet contended that he wanted to get back his family. However, their back and forth did not help and made things more complicated. So the last hope to get closure was to reveal the DNA results. Mr. Wiggins, you are the father. <laughs> Ms. Davis, what are you feeling? I've been going through this for a long time. Like, between him and his wife, like... It's his child. Right. You are the father. You have the clarity you need. I'm gonna take care of my child. Good. That's all I ask. But you also have to deal with this thing you all have. Yes, ma'am. Never let anyone take your absence for granted, or it may trap you in the paternity muddle. Mr. Talon addressed Ms. Jackson in front of Judge Lauren to settle down the heated mess. He claimed that the defendant had made him a buffoon as she was pregnant with someone else's baby, and he was unaware till nine months. Mr. Taylor, you say your fiance, Ms. Jackson, dropped a bombshell on you when she was nine months pregnant and told you that you may not be her child's father. Yes, y'all. She later changed her mind and said, 
you are Raymond's father. Yes, Your Honor. And while you're hoping he's yours, you're here today to prove that Raymond is not your biological child. No. The trial began with the deceiving saga. It turned out that the plaintiff turned on ghost mode, abandoned his family, and went to another city to pursue his career. Mommy claimed that she buzzed him on the phone, but he turned his back on her. Duh! Then why play the victim card? And I met Mr. Green in a shelter, and we, we ended up becoming intimate, but Mr. Taylor left me and my children um, stranded in Florida while he went away to, I guess, chase his dreams, Your knowing Honor, that we had something? nobody and knowing that we had nothing. It turned out that when Mr. came back in the picture, the woman was already having hanky-panky with another man. But Mama shed light on the truth. She said that Daddy never looked back to his family. So to find comfort, she brought another man in the picture. She was having a affair with Mr. Green. I had no one to turn to but Mr. Green. Mr. Green was the person that was what Mr. Green did for he, you. Mr. I've been Taylor here taking didn't care of these send kids. any money. Randy while he got was my away. last name. Where Mr. Green Mr. at? Mr. Taylor didn't send Where any Mr. money Green at? while he Why was away. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me hear you one at a time because I want to understand this. Further, Mr. Taylor alleged that the defendant got intimate with the other man right after he left. That precipitated the bickering in the court because no one was ready to drop their allegation. But the defendant buckled up and advocated that they would have been in paternity court if the man had used his mind. Did you turn to Mr. Green? A few weeks. Three days later, she was pregnant by October 12th. I left September 14th. That was less than a month. No, That's I a knew, lie. I didn't, I didn't do it right away. Who I'm so mad. If he would have never left us there in the first place, this whole situation could have been avoided. The next plaintiff stated the facts that intervened in his doubts about the baby boy. It slipped out that he was unaware that his girlfriend had conceived another man's child until an anonymous person hit him up and dropped the bomb of, you are not the father. Well, a guy that was on Facebook, he inboxed me basically telling me that LaJoy was pregnant by Mr. Green. So that was my first time even hearing about it. I confronted her. Now have you talked to her? You've been talking yes. to her on the phone? Yes. And she's never mentioned I'm pregnant? No, but I confronted her about it. However, Mr. Taylor disclosed that he has caught baby mama texting the other man. He told that she tried to settle with Mr. Green, but he denied the baby. So the mommy decided to make him adult and pin her child on him like this. Wow, I was gone and she was pregnant. She was trying to get Ryan the whole time to be with her. Be with me. I want to get the baby after runner. you, I, man, I put this on my daughter, man. She, she had a, a Magic Jack app on her phone. When you on Wi-Fi, you could text people. She was texting him. She was, she, she was asking, can I name the baby after you? Who is she texting? Mr. Green. For better understanding and to create some sense, Judge Lake summoned Mr. Green to the podium and asked about the particular situation. He said that things were not in good circumstances when he started messing with Ms. Jackson, so he asked her to move in with him. She, she, when I met her, she told me that he had left her for a rap career in Atlanta, just left and didn't want, want nothing to do with her, had nothing to do with her, didn't want to take care of the kids. So I'm there, and I feel said, bad. Right? So I sit there, I said, feel bad. She got, you know, she got two kids. So I sat there, I felt bad. You know, we vied, and then I, I was going through stuff with my baby mom at that time. Then it went to, a, then, and then it got to a physical level. From cheating to being caught red-handed, it revealed that the defendant changed her mind when she was kicked out of Mr. Green's house and got back with Mr. Taylor. But Mama denied the saga and shouted to her core to prove her point like this. You move in with I Mr. Know. Green. Yes, Your Honor. At what point do you go back to Mr. Taylor? When he dropped her. No, he didn't drop me. I left. I left. When he dropped her. No, I left. When he dropped her. So wait a minute, Mr. Green. Is that you know how you know the story from, from the text you saw on the phone? No, too much clues. I'm, I'm an intelligent person, Your Honor. As you know, one lie has the power to tarnish a thousand truths, as it happened in this case. Ms. Jackson first asserted that her fiance was the father, but later it turned out that she didn't even know who was the biological father of her baby, because she swindled around both men at the time she conceived. I it was our understanding that you believe Mr. Taylor was the father. Your Honor, I, I don't know which one is the father because okay. I had sex with both that's of them. That, that, that is. Thank you. That's, what, that's it. That. That, that's why we're here, just to tell the truth. So the bottom line is, is you really don't know. You yes, told I him know. he was the father. You messaging him as well. Telling him he the father. Because you don't know. As it was evident that both parties were at daggers drawn and no one was ready to drop their allegations. One after another, secrets were being revealed in the court, but nothing was helping them to get the closure they needed. So Judge Lake pulled the strings and decided to announce the results. As to whether his biological father is Mr. Taylor or Mr. Green, his biological father is Mr. Green. If that's mine, that's good. And I respect being there. I was about to say, you gotta get your child though. So where do we go from here? 
Ms. Jackson, I know you were hoping that the result would be different today because you wanted to save your family. Mr. Williams' life had been stuck in paying and dodging child support. And by now, he had enough of this lifestyle, so he wanted to end this once and for all. He claimed that he was not the biological father of 22 years old girl Clarissa. Yet, Miss Smith contricted him into this paternity run. Mr. Williams, you have brought Ms. Annette Smith to court today, claiming she scammed you into paying child support on her 22 year old daughter, Clarissa. You say you use condoms at all times, so you cannot be Clarissa's father. Yes, Your Honor. You plan to prove your case today and return to court in your home state to dispute the $36,742.43. As it was obvious that no one could be scammed into this kind of huge mess without being related, yet Mr. William tried to prove that he was an innocent man who has done nothing wrong which led him into this dispute. And Miss Smith was the villain of his story. But the defendant closed his lie box and spilled the truth like this. Not being able to get to my fullest ability to make a lot of outstanding money. When I met Eli, he never had a job. That's what I you paid th for everything. That's what, no, that's not true. Eli had money when he got into a oh, car accident. Oh my goodness, that's not true. We had a relationship. That's not true. We did not have a relationship. Yes, woman. we did. We did not have a relationship. Did, yes, we did. Up next, the woman explained the relationship saga. It got slipped that the alleged dad was the only possibility of being the father as mommy did not have any other guy. So when she told him about her being pregnant, he embraced, but later turned his back on her. You say this was a real relationship. Yes. Man, but was there? You go right there. You all were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes. No. At the point that you realized you were pregnant. Before that, were you sleeping with anybody else besides Mr. Williams? No. When you found out you were pregnant, did you tell him? Yes, ma'am, I did. What day? What was his the reaction? The same night. What day? Night? Yep. However, he was acting like a compulsive liar, but looks like his words were not even helping him anymore, as it turned out that he had an opportunity to get a DNA test. But instead of clearing this mishmash, he went ghosted. Where did you get that from? Eli to come to down here for the blood test. Eli declined. He didn't want no. to show up. When? You when? remember. No, I don't. When they put you on child no, support, I don't. you get AFD. No, 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 no. They asked you for now, the I'm blood test, you, I, and he didn't no, want to do it. That's not true. Did you yes, have an opportunity is. to take a DNA no, test, sir, not. and you didn't? No, I didn't. And I got his address because when what? I went to California to you. see him. The defendant claimed that Ms. Smith forged his name on the birth certificate by sending legal documents to the wrong address for financial benefits. But the woman gave him a sassy reality check like this. You're saying she purposely sent the, yes. gave the wrong address yes. so that you would then miss the court date yes. and be named the father yes. by default. Um, yes. And then one once you were named the father by default, you were put on child support. What nothing I could do? Nothing I could do. As it was apparent that the plaintiff's testimony was quite shady, as he was putting on the defensive show with his false fibs. Even though no one was buying his baffled story, he continued stooping low with his nasty saga like this. We ain't never used no used condoms, Eli. What do you used to do with them? Oh my Tell God. Them, what you, oh, See, you this, never, this is here, I'll tell you. you, 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 you never Why are you condoms. doing this? You never used condoms. Never. So, Mr. Williams, you say you always used condoms. As far as I know, always use condoms. What I do know is she used to take my condoms off to the bathroom, and whatever she did in the bathroom with that condom. I guess Mr. William should act mindful instead of swinging around back and forth. As up next, the defendant brought some pictures to support her claims. But the man asserted that he backed off because there was another man involved. And that's, when he came, that's when he came to visit. This is you and the baby. Right. It Get doesn't it look like you're denying her at that point. Doesn't look like it. I'm not not denying because at that point in time in life, none of this was available to me to find out a, a, a blood test and all this stuff because I didn't know nothing about it. So That's this this is a picture of you both yep. and Clarissa in California. Yeah. Apparently, both parties were at odds and were making things more difficult in this mess. So Judge Lake summoned Clarissa. She testified that Mr. William had never bothered her and was the true definition of deadbeat daddy like this. When I was five, he called me. That's all I remember. Just when you were five? Yes. But since then, you don't remember anything? No. You have not seen him? No. No birthdays? No. Father's Day? No. Holiday? No. Nothing? No. By the time that was probably happening, it's probably when that child support started hitting. Nevertheless, the young girl told the court that his alleged dad had missed out on so many things and she wanted to have a father figure and fatherly bond in her life, but he had never thought of being there for her in her 22 years of life. You missed out on my entire life. I wanted to have a father to brag things about in my academic life. I wanted to explore, if to, just to have fun with a dad right beside me all the time. Someone to support me. You were never there. I wish you were. We could have had some fun, but no, you weren't never there. You stopped calling me. Hmm. 
This silver woman had missed the foremost part of her life due to Mr. Williams' doubt and negligence of knowing the truth. As their back and forth squabble was not helping, and the plaintiff's crazy acting was sparking more turmoil in this conflict. The only way to know about the truth was to reveal whatever DNA envelope was hiding. Mr. Williams, you are her father. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm so happy for you. Mr. Williams, yeah. how does it feel to finally know for sure? It feels better than not knowing. This was, in fact, your biological child all along. 